Hi everyone, Jeremy with Onstage Stands and Hennessy Products here showing you our line of strap locks. We have a few different models, I want to explain the benefits of each one so you choose the right one for you. The NSL 7200 series are a brass uh, constructed strap lock. They come in chrome plated, gold plated, or black chrome plated, a few different colors. We also have the NSL 7300s, which are exactly the same in how they operate, but they are a little bit lighter. They're anodized aluminum, so they come in a few different fun colors, and they're a little bit lighter. Finally, we have the NSL 8200, which is a new take on a classic design. Let me show you each one up close so you can see how they work. All right, so let's start with the NSL 7200 and the 7300. Essentially, they operate exactly the same, um, which is very simple. You just squeeze the top end of the strap lock that attaches to the strap, and it releases from the strap button, which will be installed in the guitar, which I'll show you how to do in just a few minutes. So the 7200s are, again, brass, so they're a little bit heavier than the aluminum. You can almost maybe hear the difference a little bit. Um, but how you use it, uh, how you actually attach it to the strap, you just unscrew the top piece, the little top hat, and put the strap in between and screw it back on. It's knurled on top, so it's very easy to tighten down, and it'll be secure, and your uh, guitar won't be going anywhere. All right, so that's the NSL 7200 and the 7300. This one, of course, gold. This one, anodized in black. And then now we have the NSL 8200. This is a different spin on a classic model that slides off like a horseshoe. Right there, basically, I'm just pulling on this top plunger piece, um, which can allow the strap lock to go on and off. And what's kind of unique about our design is we have a winged nut, which makes it very easy to tighten down, whereas um, kind of the traditional model like this does not have that winged option. You really have to use a wrench to be able to tighten it. So again, you just slide the strap on over the top of the threading, and take this winged nut, and just crank it down, make sure that that won't go anywhere at all. And that's as simple as that. That's the NSL 7200, the 7300 in aluminum, and the 8200. All right, so here we are ready to install the strap locks. You'll need a few things before you start. Of course, whatever model strap lock, I'm going to use the NSL 7300 in black because the guitar has some black trimmings that I think will look nice. A Phillips head screwdriver, and you may need some toothpicks and some wood glue. I'll explain that in just a second. So first things first, take out the old strap button. Do not use a drill on anything on your guitar um, ever. You don't want to strip out uh, the holes. All right, so there it is. Now you have to make a determination at this point. Um, the screws that come with the NSL 7300s um, are going to, you have to compare them to the old screws. And if they are thicker than the existing screws that you have, then you should be just fine. If they're about the same, in this case, uh, they look like they're actually a little bit smaller. Um, you're going to need to fill in the old hole because it's going to be too big and these will just slide out. You do not want that. That defeats the purpose of the strap lock. So what you'll need to do is fill in with, you can use just common toothpicks and wood glue. And I'll, I'm going to do a dry fitting first just for those that do not need to do that, assuming that the NSL uh, screws are a little bit larger than the ones that exist in your guitar. And then I'll show you how to you do the wood glue and toothpick installation. Okay, here we are with our dry fitting. Uh, no wood glue or toothpicks in this one. So I'm just going to simply line this up and screw it in. Very simple. You can see that it is going in very easily and that is because um, the hole in the guitar is actually a little bit bigger than this screw. And, but if the screw on the Hennessy strap locks is larger than the one that came on your guitar, you're good. That's all you need to do. Put the strap on and you're done. Now do this on both the bottom of the guitar and up towards the neck of the guitar um, on those. But right now I'm going to show you how to do the toothpick and wood glue installation. Okay, toothpick and wood glue installation. First up, take your wood glue, grab a napkin or something, and put a little line of it right on there. Now, what you're going to want to do is take a toothpick and see if you're going to need one, two, it depends on how big this, uh, the hole is. So I um, slid one in and I determined that I really only need one, it's not that big of a hole. Um, and what you do is if you just break off the sharp end of the toothpick, 
then it'll be nice and flush and it'll be all the way through. That's nice and solid. So what essentially I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this toothpick around in the wood glue, shove it inside the hole, and snap it off. From there you're going to need to let it dry for a little while before you install the actual strap lock. So here we go. And don't worry, have a, a little, maybe a piece of your napkin ripped off here um, so you can wipe any excess glue that goes onto the guitar. And slide it on in. Wiggle it around, make sure all that glue is in there um, and that it makes a nice bond with the existing wood. Wipe off the excess. And it's probably even wise to just leave the toothpick on there as it dries. If you get a little on the guitar, it's not going to hurt too much. Any lacquer is going to pretty much take care of itself. And there you have it. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Uh, probably leave it to dry, whatever the wood glue recommends. But I'd say probably anywhere uh, between a half hour and an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour. We've let this dry. I'm just going to come and I'm going to just break off the toothpick. Uh, it's nice and flush now and now I can install the strap button. So again, just take your screwdriver, make sure to try and line that up nice and neat so that it's not going in crooked. Um, at this point, it's basically like the wood is all one piece again. So you may have to put a little muscle into it. Shouldn't be too hard though. And what this ensures by doing the toothpick, you make sure that it's going to actually stay inside your guitar. Again, the strap lock is absolutely useless if the screw rips out of your guitar. So, simply enough, just tighten it down. Don't over tighten, just do it you know, just enough. And now, the strap lock should go right on, it should be really easy to use. So, repeat that there, and then up by the neck, and that's how you install Hennessy strap locks. So there you have it. That's how you install the Hennessy strap locks. They're super easy to use. Click them on and off. If you need more details, you can go to onstagestance.com.